If you're a student who tends to procrastinate or get distracted easily, this video is for you. Even if you're not a student, having a clean and minimal desk setup is one of the keys to success. Ever since I started my A-levels last year, I've become increasingly dependent upon having a clean and minimal desk setup from which I can work from. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to build your very own and give you a tour of mine. Okay, so let's move on to step one, which is the plan. Having a clear plan is a big factor when it comes to building a space that you'll most likely use every day. So the first thing we need to take into account is the budget, which is the maximum amount of money that you're willing to spend to make your desk setup look nice. If you have £700 to spend on a setup, you know, you probably wouldn't go for a fully wood setup because wood is a lot of money. The next factor to take into account is performance versus aesthetics. You might have to choose between whether to prioritise performance over aesthetics depending on your budget, as making your setup look nice can take up quite a bit of that budget. I started with a desk and a monitor, and then I added a Mac, and then I added a second monitor, and slowly accumulated stuff to build a really nice setup. This made my desk look more aesthetic over time, and allowed me to upgrade things when I could actually afford to. Okay, and the third and final factor is looking out for overpriced brands. The key thing to take from this is to shop around and look for alternatives. And if the reviews are good, generally the product will also be good too. Okay, so let's start off with my setup and we'll start off with the desk. The desk is a standing desk from Amazon. It was fairly cheap and it's just a random brand from there, but it served me well. I use it for writing on my iPad quite a lot. That's mainly what I do for school. And it has two presets, which I can save, a standing mode and a sitting mode, and it's, I love it. Okay, so let's move on to the machines powering my setup. On top of my desk, we have the Mac Mini with the M2 Pro chip, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of base storage. And my PlayStation 5, which I picked up just before Christmas of 2023. These are both great machines and I love how I can separate work from play, especially when I'm feeling burnt out. For my choice of keyboard, I'm using the Ducky 1-2 Mini and the SteelSeries Aerox 3 Wireless. Now I also use a Apple Magic keyboard occasionally, but I prefer a mechanical keyboard when I type as it's much more comfortable and much more enjoyable experience. One thing to bear in mind is the compatibility of your keyboard with the type of computer you have. For example, the keyboard I have, the Ducky 1-2 Mini, is actually a Windows keyboard, so with a Mac layout there are a few irritating things that can be frustrating at times. Both of my monitors are on mounts to allow for more desk space and are both MSI models. My main one is a quad HD 27 inch monitor and my vertical one on the left of me is just HD and 24 inches diagonally. Having one monitor vertically works great for reading text, notes and web pages and it works even better for when I'm editing videos and need to look at b-roll shots. They both have 144 hertz refresh rate which is more than enough for console gaming and the colors on my main monitor are actually pretty accurate for video editing. The mouse mat I'm using is a wool mouse mat with a cashmere blend from the brand Minimal Desk Setups. It works great, I got it recently and I'm really happy with it so far. Okay, so let's talk about charging. If you use devices like I do, like an iPad, I'm using that 24 seven, so I need somewhere to charge my devices. And that's why I use these two magnetic cable clips from Spigen. They work amazingly for what I need and I wouldn't go back. They also look really nice on my desk too and don't take up much room like some of the magnetic cable holders. Now let's talk about lighting as it is the key ingredient for building a desk setup and changes the whole look of it. On my main monitor, I use a Xiaomi light bar, which lights up the majority of my desk. And for secondary lighting, on the back of my vertical monitor, I use these Govi light strips, which are really cheap. They're 10 pounds and they go, they're meant to go on the back of the TV, but I put them on the back of my monitor. This works great and they both allow me to change the temperature of them, which means I can work comfortably into the evenings without any eye strain. Okay, and last but not least, we have cable management. To manage all my cables, I use these cable trays, which clamp to the back of my desk and allow me to run cables through them. I feel like going overboard with cable management is really time consuming and can be a hassle if you want to plug in new things or remove existing cables. So I just like to keep it simple. As long as I can't see the cables, it really works fine for me. And that's pretty much all there is to know about building a minimal and budget friendly desk setup. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it's helped you to get one step closer to building your dream workspace. I just have one question for you though. Will you subscribe?